This case at the International Criminal Tribunal of the former Yugoslavia, ICTY, is significant to the study of international law because it set the precedent for interpreting the powers of international organizations. When Dusko Tadic committed various atrocities on the territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina in 1992 against Bosnian Muslims, he would unintentionally contribute immensely to the development of international humanitarian law, of international criminal law, and of some aspects of general international law. In 1993, the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia was created as a body of the United Nations established to po prosecute serious crimes committed during the Yugoslav Wars. The ad hoc court was established by Resolution 872 of the United Nations Security Council, which was passed in 1993. The tribunal is a judicial body that uses legal procedures to dispense justice according to previously defined rules. It has jurisdiction over four crimes committed in the territory of the former Yugoslavia since 1991. The first is the grave breaches of the Geneva Conventions. Secondly, the violations of the laws or customs of war. Third, genocide. And lastly, crimes against humanity. The tribunal was created due to the existence of a critical mass of political will and its performance procedures, political effects. Furthermore, in performing its legal tasks, it relies upon the political support of the states concerned and the Security Council. Because of this, upon creation, the tribunal was vulnerable to many challenges of legality, jurisdiction, and authority. Such was the situation presented in the highly publicized case of Dusko Tadic. Tadic was a political leader in the Serb Democratic Party, SDC, in the former Yugoslavia. The indictment alleged that Tadic was the principal authority in the seizure, murder, and maltreatment of Bosnian Muslims and Croats in the Prihidor municipal municipality, both within and outside a number of infamous prison camps. These attacks are known as the Prihidor Massacre, which was the ethnic cleansing of 14,000 Bosnian civilians, the second largest massacre committed during the Bosnian War. Due to these actions, Tadic was charged with 12 accounts of crimes against humanity and 10 violations of the customs of war in accordance with the Geneva Convention. In the original case, his defense contested the Security Council's power to determine whether the situation in the former Yugoslavia cons constituted a threat to the peace. Tadic argued in favor of upholding the principle of state sovereignty, most importantly expressed in his challenge to the ICTY's jurisdiction and also its primacy over national courts. When the trial chamber decided that the Security Council did have the power to determine the nature of the case, Tadish next went to the, the appeals chamber to contest this decision based on challenging the validity and jurisdiction of the ICTY. Tadish claimed that the United Nations Security Council did not have the authority to establish an ad hoc tribunal, thus disputing the legality of the ICTY's ruling. The question then became whether the UN Security Council could exercise a wide margin of discretion in choosing the course of action to deal with the case at hand. The final decision. The diverse responses of the trial chamber and appeals chamber in the Tadish juris jurisdictional decision shows that contested propositions regarding the reviewability of Security Council decisions posed by the creation of the tribunal. The trial chamber in the Tadish in Tadic concluded that it did not have jurisdiction to review the action taken by the Security Council. They stated that the tribunal with a limited criminal jurisdiction derived solely from the statute and that the tribunal did not have the jurisdiction to determine the legality of its own creation. The appeals chamber disagreed, holding that in terms of the principal competence, de la competence, it had the inherent jurisdiction to determine its own jurisdiction. According to the appeals chamber, the tribunal is a self-contained system whose inherent or incidental jurisdiction derives automatically from the exercise of the judicial function. The appeals chamber went even further and stated that competence to lack competence was not only a power but an obligation in international law. The chamber found that the establishment of the ICTY fell within the powers of the Secu Security Council under Article 41 of the Charter. The chamber stated that once the UNSC determines that a particular situation poses a threat to the peace, it enjoys a wide margin of discretion in choosing the course of action. This set the precedent for how courts should interpret the power and authority of international organizations. The appeal chamber's ruling validated the establishment of ad hoc tribunals and outlined the par parameters of jurisdiction for international courts. Therefore, in legitimizing the ICTY, Prosecutor V. Tadic, 
paved the road for the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda in 1994 and eventually the establishment of the International Criminal Court in 1998, creating the international legal system that we function within today.